Welcome to Steelfest 2017. While most of the bands here are black metal, death metal and whatnot, here we have a really pioneer band of funeral doom, skepticism as it's known one of the leading bands of the genre. Here we have two guys from the bands, as you can see they are old men, the real veterans. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Yes, I'm Matti and I'm a, I'm a vocalist in um, skepticism. I'm Aaron, I'm the organist. So, you are quite a local band, as it was mentioned before the actual interview. You said this is was the this was the easiest uh, ever to come to uh, play the show. How will it uh, show on the stage? Well, uh, it probably won't show on the stage because <laughs> we've done it so many times. Uh, we prepare uh, the same way, even if the trip we here was short, but. Uh, Kind of uh, always before show, you get in the mood, uh, everything around you disappears, and there's just that moment, so uh, it won't show on stage at all, I think. All right. So, as we can see, you have a pretty unusual clothing, considering uh, what the uh, normal genre uh, clothing style is, and you are uh, not ex exactly a typical band to play in this kind of festival, considering that you play slow, you play heavy, you play kind of a depressive music. How do you sales feel to be part of this kind of a festival well i think it's it, it's it's a good addition for these these uh, uh, kind of festivals to have a slower pants and, and heavier pants instead of the, all is like grindcore or death metal and maybe the audience is they can relax a little bit during our set and their ears can rest a little bit. I think like it's like that. So we won't be expecting lots of headbanging and uh, fisting? Well, uh, we've seen headbanging uh, on our show, so it's just uh, slower than normal. So uh, Kind of a slow pace. Uh. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. And kind of uh, uh, what seems to ha happen in our shows is that uh, it kind of mesmerizes the so uh, crowd. So. Uh, well, that seems to happen, so basically, even if the crowd is the same, we've been to a lot of shows with uh, faster bands mainly, uh, and uh, kind of, if someone told me 20 years ago that we would be showing uh, or playing outside uh, in Hyvinkää in the summertime, I would not have believed that. Uh, it was uh, kind of a long shot uh, thinking of that uh, back in the day, but then we've done summer festivals in the last couple of years, and it's working surprisingly well. Yeah, you are kind of a band which could be more easily to be seen in the kind of a club atmosphere, playing that in the really dark places. Um, how does this kind of a sunny weather, actually now it's getting cloudy maybe because of your presence, but uh, is there any uh, uh, difference for you to play in a dark club atmosphere or just in sunshine? Does it matter? Well, uh, for me, I think, uh, I think every show is, uh, is a unique show. And uh, I don't mind about the venue so much. Maybe, maybe in the smaller venues, it's a, it's a little bit more like uh, intense. But still, uh, our own set and, and our playing is still the same. And I, in the states, I am I'm mainly I'm in some kind of mood, so I, I don't pay attention a lot to, to, to people or the audience. So. That's why I, it's hard to compare these different kind of gigs in, in all together. Do you need any special uh, ways to prepare for a show or is it just a kind of a routine thing for you as being a really old timer? Well, uh, we do have a special routine ourselves like uh, me and Matti getting dressed and uh, uh, putting on the roses is kind of a ritual and at that time uh, the rest of the world starts to disappear. So I, I really enjoy that. Kind of, uh, for me, originally uh, starting with the band, I thought the music was the main thing. But uh, these days, uh, the last ten years, getting on stage has been the main thing. It's kind of a, even uh, for us as as the band, uh, you feel the music on stage differently from what it's like uh, when you listen to it uh, from a record or, or rehearse. So basically, uh, for me, a show is like a ritual. So I, it's a purifying experience, so I really look forward to that this time, the next time, the last time, and so on. So 
your music uh, could be described as uh, depressive, uh, it's dark, it's heavy, it's slow, it's kind of uh, suicidal in a sense. How do you make this kind of music or, and do you care what it happens? What happens to a little listener when he totally gets in the mood of your music and lyrics? Well, uh, I think what you just said is, is kind of a misconception. Uh, for me at least, uh, uh, playing music like this has nothing to do with depression or suicidal ideas or whatever. It's, uh, it's just an uh, aesthetic so choice. So basically, uh, this kind of music to me is beautiful. And, and so, so is it more like an escape rather than journey into the deeper feelings? Uh, you could say that, yeah. Uh, it's um, well, kind of a, uh, the moods this kind of music brings to you are not uh, always negative. It can be that it's, it's uh, it feels heavy. Uh, it feels uh, kind of depressive, but uh, not in a suicidal way. Uh, that, that, yeah. Yeah, and and, and most of the times when you talk to the crowd afterwards, the fans, they are telling that, uh, that they are getting really beautiful feelings instead of negative feelings. And, and sometimes, the, almost all the time, somebody is crying in the, in the front of the stage. And so. What does that crying make, make you feel? I don't know. I mean, I think I'm in the, almost like in the same mood with that person. So it's really close for me to start crying on the, on the stage also so i can relate to that and 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 and, and I, I know they are feeling the the beautiful feelings and mood in the music so so you're more a beautiful and sensitive band as a opposed to dark and depressive and all that yes you can say that yeah i would say that um, we are a band uh, whose view on beauty is dark and depressive that goes both hand in hand. Yes. So let's talk about a bit more uh, about your lyrics. Where do, do they come from, and what is the most uh, or main source of inspiration? Well, we are no different from uh, most bands uh, ever. Kind of uh, typically, uh, the most inspiring uh, moments in your life are uh, the worst moments in your life. Uh, the lyrics themselves. Uh, try not to state anything in them so it's basically uh, describing emotions and, and things that happen to you uh, in a kind of a non-descriptive way so there's a lot of air in the lyrics so if you read them uh, most people interpret them, them differently especially differently from the way I what I meant which which I think is the best thing uh, so I try not to say uh, much anything or state anything in the lyrics all right. So, what we can expect from you guys in the future? Where will you be in like five or ten years? Hopefully, we are, we are about the same spot as, as we are now. That we can do shows randomly every year and uh, and and do do what we love to do. So, but uh, but of course, there is a pressure. Always, always for the next album and next album, and and we we see, then we see in a few years we see what we are doing. So, All right. So, any uh, we are kind of uh, we are too old to uh, dream big dreams. So basically, we've been doing this for 25 five years now. So it's um, it's a lifestyle. So uh, my hope is that uh, we will still be doing shows when we need uh, assistance getting on stage. In, in 25 years or so. So basically, uh, like Matti said, uh, I think where we are now, playing shows, uh, uh, some uh, four to six shows a year, releasing albums uh, every five years, uh, just pretty much uh, ideal for the band. So for me, the important thing is to keep the thing going, uh, keep no, new songs, new, new shows coming up, and see. Uh, I hope we uh, stop playing shows when the first one dies. That is a really good stopping point. But the last question. So now that people will see this video, hopefully, and, and get the idea of what kind of band skepticism is, but there are always uh, newcomers to the music, to your band. Where should they start from to getting know you guys? Is it going live or uh, buying a certain uh, album? I would say, for at this point, I would say you should see us live. Then you can 
buy the album and, and listen to it and then you have to have the, the feeling and, and you know you can start to remember that what what it, what it was like in the in the in the in the, in the states and, and stuff and because I, I think our stuff is a little bit hard for newcomer just to listen with an album because it it, it needs a certain atmosphere you can't put our album in a car stereo and start driving you have to put it in a stereo you have to listen to it and then it, then you can get the, the mood and, and 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 so on all right so what will be written on your tombstone when uh, your band ceases to exist well that's a good good way to end it all <laughs> i would say i i think i i will take the Uh, lyrics from our one song and sell the words not sing of sorrow all right that is a really good answer well thank you guys thank you. I'm most eager to see you on stage thank you. so here we are with skepticism stay tuned for more stuff to come